Now we all love an Air Jordan collaboration, and Monier is no surprise. They've been collaborating on sneakers like the Air Jordan 1, Air Jordan 2, Air Jordan 3, even Air Jordan 12, and now finally, last but not least, we get the Air Jordan 4 Mon Year collaboration. Now, with a lot of people saying that the Air Jordan 3 Mon Year was one of the best sneakers of the year, I'm even hearing conversation asking, is this Air Jordan 4 Mon Year in contention of best sneaker of 2022? Needless to say, we do have it live in the studio. I'm excited to get into this one, man, because I have not had a chance to see these up close in hand, and I pass on them. I wonder if I'm gonna regret that right now, or, or, or if I'm actually gonna, you know, feel like I did the right thing later in the video. Video, but without further ado, let's get into it. Here we have the Air Jordan 4 Monier. What is going on everybody? It is your boy Sniper Jones and welcome back to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the Air Jordan 4 Mon Year in hand and right off the bat, it's nothing different than what we normally get from Air Jordan and Mon Year. They all pretty much have this same coveted cover over the sneaker box. It's almost like this little slide cover you can kind of pull out. And of course it got, I got like the Mon Year logo kind of surrounded printed all across. You see the A's as we take this off, we get the Air Jordan 4 box. And I want to shout out Hype 24-7 for allowing me to get this nigga because it already released. If you guys don't know, it released on Monier. I believe Monier released it November 17th, but then Nike had it on the Nike sneakers app November 23rd. So if you guys are interested in this sneaker, it already sold. And I believe the retail price for it was $225 and now resale is 400 plus so you already know how it is when it comes to these air jordan mine years i know i'm a little late on the review but it's a lot of things that's happened since the release date of this sneaker and i thought why not review it more importantly why not get into it now i'm pretty sure y'all probably seen this sneaker on youtube already but just for a little bit of context man we got the air jordan jump man on the box we got flight up underneath the jordan jump man and then we get the mine year branded on the side of the box but like I said, you guys probably already seen it. So let's open it up and get to it. Bye, y'all. Here we have the Air Jordan 4 Mind Year, man. And as you can see, it pretty much comes in one big complete colorway of, I don't know, it's like a muslin burgundy. It's almost like a crushed burgundy colored theme. It's not the same type of uh, crushed, what was it, like a crushed velvet the Air Jordan 12 Mind Years was. But this is definitely like some muted crushed burgundy on the entire upper. And then we get some sail on the midsole, a little bit of black to complete the midsole. And and that pretty much completes the shoe when it comes to the colorway. Now, the reason why I wanted to kind of get deep into the shoe because, you know, a lot of people probably are just now getting their pairs from the Nike Sneakers app if you were able to get W's, which in these days are once again, pretty much impossible. It's so much talk about these, man. Not only the crazy retail price, or not retail, I'm sorry, the crazy resale price, and even pairs that people are like getting is kind of coming back being crazy. I'm looking on Twitter, I'm checking out stuff. I was talking to my boy Unbreakable Kicks. He was telling me how, you know, some people actually got their Air Jordan for my years through the mail with mold on the side panels of the sneakers. And I don't know how in the heck that happened. I don't know if that happened from shipping problems. I don't know if that was a manufacturer problem. I don't even know if, you know, wherever or whoever was carrying the shoe in order to ship it had it in some crazy environments and due to the material of the sneaker, it kind of built up over time. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, comment down below if you guys had any problems. But I think Jordan Brand as a whole, like these last few days, or at least the last few releases, have been having problems, especially when it comes to, like, the final product. I don't really know what it's like when, you know, quality checking over there at Jordan Brand usually is fine, but I know y'all seen all those crazy quality checks that did get passed when it came to the Air Jordan 1 Lost and Found. Like, shoes was bent up, karate chopped. It looked like, you know what I'm saying, somebody was down there karate chopping Air Jordan 1 before people got their hands on them. And it was looking crazy. I'm throwing some pictures up on the screen for y'all to be able to see it, but that's not a good look, bro. Especially when you're spending a lot of bread on these shoes, man. And then you finally get them, and it looked like somebody ramshacked them or ran them over, cut them in half. Ah, this is not a good look. Now, uh, Monier did decide to do something a little bit different when it came to this Air Jordan 4 because uh, in order to even apply, or not apply, in order to uh, be able to try to get in the march of winning this shoe, you had to submit videos, and I believe it was just talking about things in the community, if I'm not mistaken, correct me, I didn't go for the sneaker, but you know, the whole point or the whole purpose of the sneaker is 
it's about more than shoes. And we all know, you know, when it comes to people in our community, uh, or my community, I would say, African American community, it's not that easy for us to come together. But somehow, some way, you know, we come together for some Jordans, bro. It's kind of weird. But I do applaud my year for actually taking a stand and, you know, trying to, you know, form some type of camaraderie, at least around a the sneaker they know we would be interested at. Because, like I say, we're going to get together for a chance to win some J's. I'm not going to lie to you. The sneaker comes in like this nice sale outer sole. And it's also completed with, you know, a little bit of that crushed burgundy on the traction pads on the toe and on the back heel. And of course, you get Nike stamped in the middle. As we go to the midsole, all sale once again, give it like that age feel. And then you get the iconic air bubble on the back heel, black on the midsole, and then the upper is just completely dominated in a monochromatic form of a nice crushed brown or a nice crushed Muslim brown. And Everything from the eyelash to the cage netting to the patch on the tongue to even the quilted sock liner. And it's the same quilted sock liner they used on the uh, DJ Khaled We The Best Fives just to give it that luxury look. And even right here on the back heel, if I can uh, show that. Let me see if I can bring that in. Bow. Okay, it's a little tough. Okay, there you see. It's not about the shoes, dot, dot, dot. This one says, let me see. I'm trying to get this right, man. You know the cameras be tweaking sometimes. Okay, it's about where you're going. So it's not about the shoes, it's about where you're going. Uh, great message by my year. Sorry for the, you know, the camera could be a little blurry at times. But is this sneaker of the year? Um, I think that, you know, Jordan 4 is always, in my opinion, gonna be in the running for sneaker of the year. Even though, I do have to say, I know a lot of people was angry about my comments on the Air Jordan 11. I just reviewed the Air Jordan 11 chair. If you haven't checked that out, go ahead and watch it. All I simply said was, even though the Air Jordan 11 is a staple in our community, and in my opinion, one of the most popular Air Jordan silhouettes of all time, the wearability factor of an Air Jordan 11 is just not hot for me. I don't browse my closet and rock Air Jordan 11. So out of all them Jordans, one, two, three, four, all the way, where they at, like 37, 36 now? The four is my favorite, but keep it a bean. This shoe is very uncomfortable, bro. It's a brick. I think MJ is a 13, 14, hooping in Jordan 4s, bro. This is a boot. This shoe is a boot, and it's not just the mine year four, it's any four. Yo, bro, I can pick up these fours, I can pick up these fours. Like, how did MJ drop 60 in a pair of Jordan? Imagine hooping in fours like this, bro, and weighing a size 14, 13. That's crazy. The shoe not that comfortable, but man, it's so beautiful, yet so stylish. We've seen so many different takes on this shoe, whether it be, you know, the leather quality they decided to use on this. It's kind of like a smooth leather. Not, not too crazy, it's not tumbled, but we've seen a tumble look on the Oreo 4. We've seen suede when you look at a when you look at a bread four behind me. We've seen so many different takes on Air Jordan fours, and every last one is beautiful in my opinion. And let's just give my year they, they credit where it's due. I mean, they've really been killing it this year, pretty much by themselves. I mean, let's be honest. Travis Scott been doing his thing this year, right? He's definitely had some cool shoes. I think that triple black Air Jordan one low is supposed to drop at the end of the year, but. Y'all remember a few years ago, Union was kind of killing it with all the collaborations and, and, and Off-White was kind of killing it with all the collaborations unfairly, you know what I'm saying, Virgil's no longer with this. And I feel like Union kind of took a step out of the more popular silhouettes and went towards like the Cortezes and other sneakers that's not as popular. And Mayer just stepped right in and killed it. I mean, whether we talking about Air Jordan 4s, Air Jordan 1s, Air Jordan 3s, where well, they dropped those last year, but the Air Jordan 12s, to even stepping in the lane, changing up some of my favorite pennies from the penny one to the penny two with two different colorways on the same silhouette, like a home and away. Man, my year has been absolutely killing this year with the collaborations. If we are going to say this shoe is not sneaker of the year, that's fine, but I don't think that we can argue that my year has definitely been like the best collaborations we've had this year. I mean, Trophy Room killed it with the sevens, but we gotta, we gotta, kind of congratulate and we got to respect consistency when it comes to collaborations and if we're gonna do that i feel like my year has to take the cake my year in social status which is owned by the same guy you know what i'm saying or it's, it's like sister companies or parent companies to each other so one a one b they've been killing it man they've been absolutely doing a great job i do own the air jordan one my years i own the two mine years um this is a size 12 and a four mine year i don't have the three so you know that price is up there, especially because it came in women's sizes. You already know when shoes come in women's sizes and you wear a big size in men, it's a 13 and a half for me because I'm a 12 in men. That ticket is almost like a band or something like that. I don't even know. It's just something I'm not willing to pay for those. And 
I pass, I pass. Regardless, man, hey, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on the Air Jordan 4 Monier and tell me if you got a pair in, did they crumble? Did they keep up, man? How was the quality on your pairs? Um, was the stitching fine? Any mold, um, any quality checks that uh, been popping out lately happened to you because you know it's been happening to a lot of people and we definitely can start a conversation in the comments down below but until next time make sure you guys subscribe to the channel all right i don't think i've been in, i don't think i've been saying that enough subscribe subscribe uh, a lot more content coming a lot more sneakers coming early new on time you already know what's going on man until next time it is your boy shamber jones thank you all so much for watching you know i cannot leave without saying everybody want to be famous but who really put in that work though snipe squad i love y'all dream big